Herzlich Willkommen zu einem weiteren Part The Stanley Parable, diesmal Versuch Nummer 3. Mal sehen, welches Ende wir jetzt hinkriegen. Ich werde erstmal hier den Raum skippen. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Es ist halt sehr viel Text, der hier unten eingeblendet wird und ich versuche dann immer die Klappe zu halten. Äh, an Passagen, wenn vielleicht viel Text kommt, werde ich das natürlich auch machen. Das tut mir natürlich leid für so ein Let's Play, wo man es äh, ja kommentiert, aber ich glaube, das würde ein bisschen verwirren und ich will ja dann auch den Text lesen, um was es geht. Ähm, also sorry, wenn es ein bisschen wortarmer wird, dieses Let's Play. Aber nichtsdestotrotz, wir gehen jetzt erstmal weiter und ich habe vor, hier äh, gleich das Offensichtliche zu machen. Da, wenn man immer die linke Tür gehen soll, werde ich jetzt mal die rechte Tür gehen. Nämlich in diesem Raum. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Genau, wir gehen This was not rechts. the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Zum Pausenraum, oh ja. Das ist also der Pausenraum. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. Just to spend a few moments here okay. in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Oh, nur eine Kaffeemaschine. Da gibt's ja bestimmt immer Stress unter den Kollegen. Was? Was haben wir hier? Okay, wir gehen mal weiter. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Aha! Hier kann man sich also auch schon entscheiden. Gehen wir hier rein oder da rein? Naja, ich glaube, wir machen das mal systematisch. Äh, wir gehen mal erstmal hier rein. Through the maintenance section, walk straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. Boah, das sieht natürlich verlockend aus hier, ne? Ich gehe da lang. Oh, back on track, das heißt, jetzt bin ich wieder. Okay. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might find an answer to coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Nein, wir gehen jetzt mal nach unten. Wir wollen ja mal ein bisschen was anderes machen. Und wenn wir jetzt auch schon wieder hier gelandet sind, dann äh, will ich mal andere Wege nehmen. Eine rote Lampe. Was hat es auf sich? Hier kann man sich hinlegen zum Schlafen. Oh, das Parkhaus. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had Kommt left his post rein. during work hours, he Ist might be drin? fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, nee, why leer. had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. Oh, das ist ja For immer das gleiche. Why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Oh, tatsächlich. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, da, da these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeated? Oh, das macht sich schon eine ganze Weile, dass die gleich aussehen. This is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming. Yeah. Genau, der Traum. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer. Oh, wie lange muss ich hier noch durchlaufen? His co-workers weren't actually Wird mir aber He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, Boah, wie lange geht das? Flying, and began to gently float above the ground. <gasps> Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it wie viel fliege ich denn? It was so much fun. Oh. And Stanley Mo. Ja, geil, als wenn ein Auto im All geparkt ist, oder? How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest Abgefahren question of the all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing? Oh man, jetzt wird's dramatisch, ey. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. 
I'm dreaming about a voice describing me oh man. thinking about how really panisch irgendwie sogar thoughts, he thought and while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams the truth was that of course this was not a dream how could it be oh das geht ja was immer weiter hier himself, believing that if he's asleep he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After Wir kommen ja eh nicht raus, oder? Certain beyond a doubt that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float to make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This Hilfe! voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely if he could just He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control that this was a dream so he closed his eyes gently and he invited himself oh. to wake up he felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin okay. the press of the mattress on his back the fresh air of a world outside this one let me wake up he thought to himself i'm through with this dream i wish it to be over let me go back to my job let me continue pushing the buttons Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am oh, echt gut. okay. Echt gut gesprochen, ne? Echt gut. Oh shit. Es hat nichts gebracht. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me. What's with us? Rot. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear me? Was hier los? Who am I? Who am I? Ah! What? What? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Oh. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn das to the ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension the rest of her life she had no time for this so it was only a moment that she stood there staring down at the body and then she turned and ran ein echt abgefahrenes spiel ey ich finde das echt genial so von der idee dass du immer Egal was du da anders machst, immer verschiedene Enden hast. Also das ist echt toll. Ich bin echt gespannt, welche Enden wir auch noch letztendlich dann äh, erfahren werden, erleben werden. Der Part ist jetzt erstmal zu Ende. Ich hoffe, es hat euch ein bisschen Spaß gemacht. Und ihr seid vielleicht auch ein bisschen interessiert, wie es jetzt weitergeht bei Stanley Parable. Der Part ist erstmal zu Ende und äh, ja, würde mich freuen, wenn ihr die anderen Parts euch auch anschaut. Macht's gut, bis dahin. Ciao, ciao.